Hello, welcome back to Paul's Stuff. This is my space on YouTube where I get to talk about all the things I love. Lots of Star Wars, lots of lightsabers. Uh, today is Star Wars. Um, and as, if you've been watching the channel, you'll know that one of the things I'm doing at the moment is a series of videos covering my current um, Black Series six inch figure collection. And today is kind of an addition to that. Um, what I've decided to do as I get new figures is to do a vid video on the individual figure. Um, and today I'm going to do um, something a little bit unusual for me. That's an unboxing video. Um, so I ordered this figure from Star Action Figures here in the UK. Great UK based um, online retailer for action figures and helmets, lightsabers, all of the, all of that uh, collectible stuff. Um, so Star Action Figures sold this figure. It's um, the Artillery Trooper from um, the second season of The Mandalorian. Um, when it arrived today, this is the first time I've ever had this. I think it I think it's on their website as an exclusive to them in the UK. Um, but it actually arrived in this Hasbro packaging box. It was packaged. This was in another box with some wrapping around it. Um, but I thought, as I've never had a figure come in one of these packing boxes from Hasbro before. Um, I've had lightsabers in Hasbro packaging cartons but not black series figures um so i thought i'd do an unboxing on this one i'm not going to guarantee that i'm going to unbox every new figure i get on on video but today is an unboxing so here's uh, the detail of what's on here as i say i've, I've got a feeling that i didn't really take much notice when i ordered this because it was just the figure i wanted but um I think it may have said that this was an exclusive to Star Action Figures in the UK. I'm not sure. I mean, that, that said, then other retailers will will have this as a as an import anyway. So there it is, out of uh, out of the packaging. This is the figure we're going to be looking at. One last look at the box that it came in. So this is the artillery trooper. Just give you a, a little look at the box. That's the nice artwork down the side. This of course is the, the, the trooper with the yellow striped markings on it. And he comes with blaster and the mortar uh he has pauldron on um this is um looks like a thermal detonator off the back of a stormtrooper but i'm assuming that, that these are the mortar bombs uh, so perhaps the, the mortar fires um thermal detonators and i believe there's more than the one in here um, so let's get on and, and open this up. Uh, as you know, I open my figures. Um, I'm not an inbox collector at all, and I won't be collect keeping this packaging um, after I have um, opened this figure. So let's have a look. It's the usual Hasbro packaging lots of warnings about stuff as everybody jokingly says don't put it in your mouth so we've got the the trooper himself with his blaster the thermal detonator the mortar and then what i wasn't expecting is as you turn the figure around he has a backpack with three more of the thermal detonators in um 
which is really nice. I'm assuming that's a normal sort of Stormtrooper backpack that just plugs into the hole on the back. Um, although I believe this is, looking at it, the newer Stormtrooper sculpt, which is nice. So let's get this out of the packaging and have a look at what we actually get. Have a look at the figure first of all. So not weathered at all by the looks of things. Quite stiff foot joints, which is always a good sign. He's going to stand up nicely. There's that very vivid yellow um, sort of look to him. Quite an indent there in the, in the moulding on mine. It's maybe not so good. I think that's a, a failing in the moulding. Oh, and there we go. Look, the backpack's come off in the packaging. So um, it does just affix into, into the back here. We'll have a look at that while we've got it this way round. So this is the backpack with removable thermal detonators, or mortar bombs or whatever you want to call them. That's really quite nice. Um, there's a little clip here which I'm assuming is for the blaster. So does the blaster is this a, a blaster with a, a particular I don't know you know does that blaster sit like that I presume it does uh, it seems to have a, a really long magazine on it longer than the normal is that something that comes out no so yeah sorry i may have been off off screen there a little bit um it's uh, the normal blaster we're sort of getting now but i think this is a new sculpt um has the light on the side this is i'm sure is longer than other blasters i've seen and it will kind of hang on the pack quite nicely we'll remove the other thermal detonator that's in here under a piece of tape and that should sit in alongside the other three quite nicely there we go I'm not sure if this is another clip for a piece of equipment let's have a look and and see what's in the, the mortar so this is another unique piece to this set i think we haven't seen this before i doubt we're likely to see it again this is the the mortar i'm just gonna move these forward so that you can see them really sorry if i'm going out of frame a lot um, I'm not used to doing these sort of tabletop videos, so um, you'll have to forgive me a little bit there. So the mortar has a, a ball joint at the base. It has legs that move. And um, yeah, it's another nice addition a nice static piece so let's um pop his backpack on if it will stay on should do i think it's um there we go so there we have our uh a um artillery trooper from the Mandalorian, nice figure. This new Stormtrooper figure is is really nice. It's it's excellently done. I'm going to see if I can get him in a a pose where he's about to 
to drop one of these bombs down the uh, the tube of the um, let's see what we can do down the tube of the mortar I don't know how this is going to go my hands may go out of shot again very very stiff plastic on the hands probably not designed to have this sort of uh, <laughs> manipulation oh, there we go Get his backpack on. The backpack doesn't seem to stay on overly well, which is um, is okay, I guess. And um, yeah, see the I'm just putting the blaster on there, and the, the backpack comes off. It, it holds well enough. It's just uh, not. 100% great so I think that's um, that's pretty good for this angle his mortar up a little bit more Nice stiff joints on this figure, which I like. So, there we go. That's uh, the Hasbro Black Series Artillery Trooper from Season 2 of The Mandalorian. Let's uh, angle that up correctly, if I can. There we go. That's not bad. Very nice figure. Um, yeah, like him a lot. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. There we go. New technique for me. <laughs> I, I'm very sorry if I've if I've not done a great job with this video. I'm I'm new to uh, to doing this sort of stuff on tabletop, and um, I have a very limited setup. I phone every, I video everything for the channel on my phone. Um, which is absolutely fine. That's how I want things. I'm I'm quite happy with that that level of technology and um, production. Um, but it does mean maybe my videos um, uh, are a little bit erratic sometimes in terms of framing and things. But uh, there we have the artillery trooper from the Mandalorian. Uh, another really nice figure shame as I say my one's got this dimple in the uh, thigh armor on that side but um a lovely figure nonetheless there's a bit of a marking where the paint has been disturbed on the pauldron as well and there we go that's uh the artillery trooper now, as I say I'm gonna gonna try and do um videos like this each time i get a new figure from here on in um the videos i'm doing on my collection shelves are covering all the figures i already have and then new figures i'll do a video as they arrive like this one um not going to promise there'll always be an unboxing like this uh, that was a bit special because of that um different packaging that i got um but i will do a video on on every single figure that i i get from here on in so uh yeah that's today's acquisition addition to the collection that's the artillery trooper from mandalorian season two if you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up that helps um youtube to know that people are liking the videos that i'm making and um if uh, if you like this content please do have a look at the rest of the channel and perhaps consider subscribing if you hit the notification bell when you subscribe that will tell you when i'm making new videos and posting them um, try and do something on a regular basis um, 
And so at the moment, that's that's focusing a little bit on my Black Series figures, although there are some other videos coming up as well. Um, all sorts of content, um, lots of Black Series figures at the moment, but normally lots of lightsabers. Um, there are some more lightsabers in the offing. Um, Star Wars toys, vintage toys that I collect, um, perhaps Star Wars Lego going forward as well, a bit more of that. Um, but yeah, so if you, if you like that sort of content and you like Star Wars collectibles and toys, then it might be worth looking at the channel a bit more. Um, hope to see you again soon, but for now, all that leaves me to say is, cheerio everyone.